So in today's video, we're going to go through and we're going to take a look at this Nitro Evader. Um, it just came in, it's untested. So we're going to take it apart and see what's broken and what isn't. All right. So this is the uh, Evader ST buggy. See, uh, we need to get it started first. Engine turns over. Um, there's no glow plug. Can the light show it. I don't know if the light will show it. There's no glow plug right now, so I need to put a glow plug in it. I think I'm going to replace the fuel hose. I don't like how this hose is wrapped around the head. They can't be telling me that's the way it came from the factory. I'm going to have to see if I can find a manual and look that up. I also don't like the fact that there's old fuel in the bottom there. I'm probably going to have to clean it out, clean everything out here, the whole fuel system. Does the throttle at least move? The throttle does not move. Alright. Just, uh, One, two, right? That's where it's supposed to be. All right, I'm going to get a glow plug, put that in there. I'm torn between cleaning out the tank first or cleaning out the, uh, or just trying to see if I can get it started. All right, so we're back to working on the, the nitro evader. Looks like the uh, tires could do to be replaced. I still don't like this fuel line. I may route it so that it goes around in front of the air filter and comes over. That way it's nowhere close to the exhaust. It just seems like a bad idea. Um, I'm going to open it up, check the battery. We're also going to check the uh, servos, make sure they're all working. And it's too late for me to try to start the engine, but that's something that I'm going to need to do also. So uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this. Let me see. Can I do it while you watch? Nope, can't do this one-handed. Well, as I was kind of afraid, it has batteries in it, and they've corroded. Let's see, where is it? There it is. As I was afraid, it had batteries in it, and they've corroded. Actually, it looks like only one of the batteries has corroded so far. So I'm going to take it apart and take a look at everything real quick. All right, you can see I got in there with a the screwdriver. Tried to clean it out a little bit. There's the uh, other side. It's corroded but not as badly. The other connect none of the other connectors are really that bad. And the wires don't seem to be corroded either. So hopefully this will work fine.
right, am I getting anything there? Let's go start taking stuff apart real quick. This it says 74. It says 75 foot 671. Might not have the right remote for it. First, let's make sure we're getting power out of here. Getting a constant rating from that. Get something. Get something there. small piece of sandpaper see if I can clean that up more yeah okay so I cleaned this up and I got this to power and I have power to here but what I did find is that this is 74 and this says 75.670 this remote may not be programmed to this so it could be a wrong controller this pops out and inside there is the program so maybe I just need to find one of these that's a 74 or find one that's a 75.670 Anyways, that's what that's what I think the current problem is with this one. Is this remote is incorrect currently. So, what do you do? You get on the internet and get searching. All right, so I removed the gas tank. I stuck my finger down on the bottom and there was just this film of stuff that just stank like old nitro and gasoline. So I just cleaned it with carb spray and denatured alcohol. 
and then clean the outside. I'm going to reroute this. I might replace it outright. I don't know. I just don't like that. I don't like that being right above the pipe. It doesn't make any sense to me. But how can I do it? I need to fiddle with it. Maybe I'll just put it back the way it was. But I am going to replace the feed line at least. This one's just a pressure line. I probably won't replace that one. As you saw earlier, I got it running. The, um, I couldn't take you along with the entire process. I did end up putting the old fuel line back on, but I rerouted it so it kind of goes around the air cleaner. I've checked, it doesn't seem to affect the running, and I prefer it to be over here than over here. All of this is very hot. Not right now, I'm touching it. But all of this is very hot, and I don't know how that line will take it. But it runs. It runs well. I ordered a new receiver and radio. Hopefully those two things will work. And hopefully the servos aren't bad. Now the rear shocks are filthy. And I don't know offhand. Ugh. I don't know if that's the uh, the shocks are leaking and they need repaired or if it's just because this whole car has this issue of basically nitromethane being blasted all over the freaking place while the car is running. I ordered no wheels too, to replace these. I mean, I'm just going to glue them back on this wheel set. This wheel looks like it's okay. So I'm just going to peel the tires off when the time comes to it. Front tires are good. I'm not going to replace them. Those are fine. I'm going to do a resistance check. 
on these. This is the servos. Let's see if there's any like dramatic difference between them. But I think the problem was for some reason the radio was not pairing with the um, receiver. And I think that's what was causing radio issues. The engine works. It's beautiful. Now it's time to get that working so that this can be set at idle and then I can set the slow idle speed so that it continues to run without spinning the tires. That's kind of the thing is that's where all this bald spot comes from is it sits there and spins the tires because you need to have a bit of throttle to get it open but then once it runs you can just let it go. Anyways, that reminds me, I think there's a spring outside I need to go and get. Hi, I found it. Right there. That's the return spring. It's probably important to the whole thing. Okay, so we managed to get the uh, motor running, or the engine running, and we're waiting on a receiver and a remote control. And hopefully those servos are good, because I don't have a servo tester. I should have. Maybe I should have bought one. I don't know. Find out. Anyways, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. If you have any things that you guys want to do, any ideas that you want to that you want me to try, put them down in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Alright, thanks. Bye.